Tommy, where do we begin? What a famous, famous night in the history of this football club. Well, I'm delighted, obviously, for everybody, for the players, the staff, the board and directors and the chairman, everybody who's helped me since the day I walked in the building. Um, we've, it's been nothing but positive. And I think that emanates through the team. I think if you look at the group, we've gone toe to toe over two games with the best team in League Two at this moment in time, and I don't think there was a lot between us as the as the goal, you know, the, the average over the two games shows. So, yeah, I think we we put in a really good shift on and off the ball, um, and somebody popped up with it whenever at the end. I didn't even know at the time, but it's uh, I'm delighted for him. I'm delighted for us. I'm delighted for the travelling shots, you know, to come this far on a, a Wednesday night in December, like a week and a half before Christmas is. It's got to be the best Christmas present ever. Well, let's talk about the goal because well, Scotty probably doesn't score many, does he? That that will be one of the best he'll ever score, probably. <laughs> well, it'll be one of the most satisfying yeah. because it'll, he'll be able to look at that and he'll show his kids and his grandkids. Yeah. So from that point of view, yeah, I'm delighted for him. He's, he's been really patient. He's, he's struggled with a bit of an injury since he's uh, on and off since he's come to the to the club. But um, he's a valued member of the group, and um, I'm delighted for him. Um, and that we all move forward together. It was just a complete performance, really, wasn't it? There's a clean sheet in there as well for the back line, who were fantastic. Jordy was fantastic. You, you must be proud of every single man in the team today. I am, and the lads who didn't even get on the pitch because they were so behind the players all the way through as I'm talking and turning around and, and making points to them. But if I wanted one of them to get ready to be you know, used as a substitute, they were up and they were done, and then I changed my mind, and then I, <laughs> I wanted them off, and then I wanted them on. But listen, I, there's not there's not words at this moment in time that I could probably use to describe how I'm feeling. It's the first time as a manager that I've got to the to the third round of the FA Cup, um, and to, to do it here, like I said, against the team that I think is the best team in in League Two, is a is a real achievement for my group. We go to West Brom now, don't we? What a brilliant day that will be for the club. But can we go there and with a bit of confidence and think, hey, we can do it? Well, we go there and enjoy the day after Christmas, can't we? So from that point of view, that's that's a given. Um, bring some oxygen. It's the, the highest altitude ground in the country. I don't know if you knew <laughs> that or not. Fact. So yeah, yeah. So we'll have to be we have to get them in the oxygen tanks before we go up there. But you know, we we'll go there and enjoy the day. But you know, we, we we don't want to go there and be the patsy. We want to go there and have, you know be competitive. How West Brom approach the game, I don't know. It's none of our business. But at least we'll get to watch them over Christmas so before we play them, so we can we can have a game plan. You did mention it briefly, but I mean, fair play to our supporters. Obviously, it's live on telly. It's a Wednesday night. It's a long journey, and they were there in their droves this afternoon. Yeah. And they were they were heard, weren't they? They were oh, fantastic. Well, was superb, absolutely superb. I don't know what the crowd was, but with the, with the millions that have been looking at looking at home, I know mm. half of Newcastle would have been looking with my family, <laughs> and then obviously most of their six because my other part of my family are down there as well. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really listen. I'm I'm. I'm delighted, with, yeah, I can't use a better word than that, I am delighted with the result. I'm also delighted with the performance because sometimes performance and result don't match, but I thought today we just edged it and we did. We, we got a goal, albeit right at the end, but I think we could have scored one or two others. Is this a moment that can spur on a season? We've obviously started so well, but it just keeps building great moments, doesn't it? Well, I mean, the big thing is we're, we're starting to get players back who at the beginning of the season would have probably been in my starting eleven, and that means that what's going to happen there is my bench is going to get stronger and if your bench is getting stronger that means your team has to keep doing what they're doing and I've, I've said this to you before I don't think we need to go too more expecting too much in terms of levels of performance but if we can keep a consistency then uh, then I see great things for the group